Well, good morning, everyone, on this Trinity Sunday morning. Very happy to be uh, your visitor for a few weeks in your most beautiful island. Uh, especially you welcome to those who are far away and watching this morning to uh, participate at home as fully as you can. And to those who are here this morning, a warm welcome to our visitors especially. I'm a visitor myself and I know how friendly and wonderful this place is. And uh, so I know you'll have a wonderful morning. Now uh, let us take a moment to compose ourselves for worship. Oh, the depth of riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Alleluia, alleluia. We say together, Blessed Lord and Father, we have assembled in your name and in fellowship with one another. Enable us by your grace to offer the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, to proclaim and respond to your holy word. Teach us to pray for your world and for your church. Grant that we, confessing our sins, may worthily offer to, your, to you our souls and bodies as a living sacrifice, and eat and drink of your spiritual food in this holy sacrament. Your world and your church. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We say together, glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given to us, your servants, grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity and in the power of your divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith and worship and bring us at last to see you in your one and eternal glory. O Father, who with the Son and the Holy Spirit live and reign one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we are debtors, not to the flesh to live according to the flesh. If you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. If you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption when we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if in fact we suffer with him so that we may be glorified with him, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do apart from the presence of God. Jesus answered him, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the Spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen, yet you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of Christ. <laughs>